Hey everyone and welcome back to Serena's Toy Room. Today I'm here with another thrift haul. I went out for Seniors Day at Value Village earlier today and I found quite a few things. So excited. So usually when I go into the thrift store I look at the books first because it's literally like right when you enter so I might as well like look at it first. When I was finished looking there, which took me a couple of minutes, I went over to the toy section, the doll specifically, and there was like a lady there and half of her cart was filled with bags of dolls, like fashion dolls. And I was like kind of irritated that I didn't get there first and like have the first pickings because this was, mind you, like right when it opened. We always get there like right away when it opens at 11. She like had like a ton of them. But she eventually like put most of them back, thankfully, so I kind of like ended up getting some of the bags that she originally took, so that's good at least. But it still like has me wondering like what kind of dolls like she bought that I didn't get the chance. Like mind you, like you can't get everything at the thrift stores. Any day that I'm not there, I always wonder like what am I missing out on today sort of thing. I always think about that, but you can't have everything at the thrift store, it's just not realistic. First, for $3.89, we have these later 2000s Barbies, which are really pretty. This one has an unfortunate haircut. It sucks because she's so gorgeous. I hope I can kind of style it into like a, a layered bob or something, kind of like a ginger spice kind of moment. I'm not sure if I can salvage it. I hope I can. She's so pretty. And they both have outfits, as you can see, which are pretty cute. She even has like a little bikini top underneath. In another bag for $3.99, I found two Hannah Montana dolls. Hannah Montana dolls I've not kept in the past. I'm not really into them, like I think they're cool but they're just not my kind of deal but I made an exception for these two because I really like their clothes and I think they'd be handy for my upcoming show. You know, I don't mind having some I guess. I, they are pretty cute and they are in pretty decent condition. Um, Hannah Montana was like my biggest obsession in like 2007, like I was so obsessed. But yeah, they're really cute. This one's like a dancing one I can tell because she moves her arms when you move her body. This bag for $3.89. This is one of the bags that the lady left behind and I'm so glad she did because when I found this bag, I almost died. This is Sandy from Greece. She is so cute. This is the outfit she wears in the beginning of the movie and the outfit looks so cute and well made. Very useful. I can definitely get some use out of that. She's so pretty. And then this Barbie who's also really pretty. I, she looks familiar. I might have her. Going down on the floor for this one because it's a playset. It's a live doll playset and it was $4.99. It's really cute and I thought it'd be perfect for my upcoming show and just pictures and videos in general. So you open it up here and there's like a carpet and you open the walls. There's like a closet and drawers and something that I was so gagged about that I didn't even know in the store until like I like bought it afterwards. I was with my grandmother and we were like going through it and I opened this to like just show her that it was a closet and lo and behold it's jam-packed of clothes and shoes. I assume that the employees didn't see these because obviously they probably would have taken it out and put them in a separate bag for more money because no way they would have like just left it like this if they knew. And that's not all. Every single one of these drawers is filled with something. So we have hairbrushes in the top one. We have more accessories in the second one. You have more clothes in this one, even more clothes in that one, and then at the bottom, even more clothes. I'm so excited about that. That was such a like amazing surprise. And not only for five less than five dollars actually, because at the discount, I got this really cool playset and awesome clothes and accessories. I really like how the playset goes all around too, all three walls. It'd be really great for filming, so you don't see like my background or anything. So that's awesome going to come in definite handy. Speaking of lip dolls, assuming these came from the same owner, I found these two. I know this is Sophie. I can't remember this one. They are so cute. Sophie's like pretty much brand new. She has everything still. She's just missing her sweater, I believe. I miss lip dolls. They have like such amazing quality and I love the fact that they had wigs. I have like slowly built a tiny little collection of them over the years and I really like them. I think they're fun. I saw some more today that were naked, and if they had wigs, I probably would have gotten them, especially because I got more lip clothes today. But yeah, these are cute, and they will definitely come in handy. This one might be a little bit surprising to some, because you guys know I have sold my Bratz dolls a couple years ago, and that used to be like the main focus of my channel back in the day. That I used to be pretty much like a Bratz channel only, with a few minor exceptions here and there. But I did get some Bratz today, mostly for the Sasha. Um, 
Now, don't get your hopes up, Bratz fans, because I don't necessarily plan on collecting Bratz again, but um, Sasha was really pretty, and I think she's pretty hard to find, and I thought she was just so gorgeous. She's the talking Sasha. Obviously, she doesn't have her stance, so she can't talk, but she's so cute in this little pose, and she's like fully dressed and everything. I love her. I might keep just her. She came with talking Yasmin, who was naked. If she had her clothes, I'd probably keep her too, but I don't really have a use for her if she doesn't have her clothes. And also came with this Yasmin, who's really pretty. I don't know, I might keep them actually, I don't know. I'll think about it. I don't have clothes for, or shoes rather, for this Yasmin, so we'll see. But I'll prob I'll keep them for now maybe, I don't know. But I'll definitely keep this Sasha, she's so pretty. This bag was $2.99 by the way, which I think is a really good price. For $3.99 I found this tall Disney store singing Aurora doll, who unfortunately doesn't sing anymore, but uh, she'll probably just need a change of batteries. She is so pretty. She is missing a shoe, unfortunately, and her crown, but she's in great condition otherwise. Even her hair isn't all that bad. I've definitely seen worse as far as Disney Star dolls go. And her dress is so pretty. Um, I sold my tall singing Disney princess dolls because I don't, don't really have space or use for them, but I made an exception for Aurora because she is my second favorite after Ariel and I just adore her. And I just thought this doll was so pretty. So I made an exception for her. I don't plan to collect them otherwise. For $2.99, I found these three dolls. This doll is quite the mystery to me. She has a hollow body. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's very hollow and plasticky feeling and very cheap, which makes me feel like she's been rebodied because this is most definitely like a dollar store fakie body. No way, this is like Barbie. It definitely has the same mold as like the belly button body and even the arms, but the legs are kind of a giveaway. And definitely the material of it too. No way Mattel used this kind of plastic for this body. I feel like she's been like rebody because this head feels like too pretty to be a fakie and the face paint looks too nice to be a fakie either. The hair quality is kind of cheap and she is thinly rooted. She's pretty though. I'll have to look her up. I don't know if I'll be able to find her though. If you can tell me otherwise, please let me know. Then we have this girl from Fairytopia, I believe, Barbie Fairytopia. She is a pink fairy with pink hair, very cute. Then we have Delancey from My Scene, which is my favorite from the bag, personally. I just love them, and anytime I can find a pretty My Scene in the thrift store for a good price, it's always a good time. Even better when they have their clothes, but a couple of hauls ago, I found some My Scene clothes in the bag, so that's no problem for me. In the last bag for $3.99, I found this beautiful Cali Girl Barbie who has unfortunately been painted on. I hope that can be removed with some baking soda or something. I'm pretty sure it could. She looks rough. Her shirt is inside out too. And I believe this is an I Can Be Stewardess Barbie or something. She's really cute as well. Alrighty everyone, thank you for watching my haul for today. Tell me in the comments which dolly is your favorite. And until next time, come and re-subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye guys!